God is about to go number one. Kane Brown is here, and Caitlin came with him again as well, but she's not sitting in the chair. You know what would be fun, Caitlin? Um, Because I know we didn't say be on the show. Would you come back in? Because we're on the air right now. Have you ever interviewed your husband? Never? Oh, no. Okay. Right. This would be good, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's grab the microphone. Okay. And last time we prepared with Caitlin coming. She does not prepare for this time, but I think this would be awesome. Okay. So all – and you have a second here. I'm going to just kind of uh, kill some time talking about some data. But think about what you'd want to ask him in an interview. It oh can be gosh. whatever you want, personal, professional. But Kane Brown's here. Caitlin's here, and thank God, with Caitlin, by the way, mm-hmm. is about to go number one. We're super excited about that. It's got so many millions of streams. Uh, when this thing goes number one, it'll be Kane's 10th number one. And here is a clip as I give Caitlin just a few more minutes to prepare for Kane's misery. Here is Thank God. Thank God I get to wake up by your side. All right, let's join live Caitlin Brown <laughs> interviewing Kane. What would you like to ask? What's your first question, Caitlin, for your husband, Kane Brown? Hmm. Um, Anything you want. Even I'm so a, not prepared. Uh, right. Even a question about home, like, why don't you pick up the, <laughs> your sweats once you leave them? You know, what, what, what's happening here? Give, give him a little something. One question for him. Um, hmm. Do you actually hear me and the kids in the morning when we're awake, or are you pretending to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what's crazy is I don't. Okay. Are I was, you sure? No, I promise. This morning I woke up, and... Look to my left, and you weren't there. And I was like, how do I not hear? But you were just going to the bathroom, so uh, the kids weren't awake yet. I just was always curious. Why do you ask that? Because you feel like he fakes it? Yeah. Mm. I feel like, how can you not hear Kingsley screaming down the hall, Cody crying for mm-hmm. a bottle? Deep but sleep. he's like sound asleep but i purposely leave our bedroom door open so he does hear all of this going on so he will wake up <laughs> she'll also personally send kingsley in yeah go ask daddy if I can say daddy oh yeah she'll send in that yeah the yeah troops. how and late do you sleep I, no this is gonna sound bad it, but no I, I wake up at like eight i'll i get up Sometimes at like 7 30 6 30 with the girls and so after like two hours of being up and doing all that i'm like i'm ready to have an adult to talk to or have coffee with. And so I usually wait till like 9. If he's not getting up by like 8 30, I'm like sending in the troops. <laughs> I'm up by 8 30. I texted Kane once in the morning. I was like, dude, I, uh, sorry if this is, he's like, bro, I got kids. Yeah. It, was, it was like 8 15. I thought Thank he would wake up to like 11. <laughs> Thank you. Bobby. And, I, and I, so I was like, hey, man, I don't know if you're awake. I think it's a question about something personal. And he was like, no, I'm good. I got kids. I'm awake. And I was yeah. like, hey, look, Kane, he's up at 8 15. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Do you have one more question, Caitlin, for Kane? Your husband, how long have you guys been married, by the way? Since 2018. Four, four years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We just had our four-year anniversary in October. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Um, wh- what? Do you, one more it could be anything in the whole world that you're curious about. He has to tell. This is like court. You have to tell the truth here. I know. I just. Nice. I feel like I know everything about mm-hmm. him that it's like hard to come up with a question. Yeah. I can kind of answer all my own questions. What would you ask her, Kane, if you were interviewing her? There you go. <laughs> hmm. I, I kind of know everything about her, so like I feel like I know all the answers. Mm, okay, well let's see about that. Um, <laughs> what? Don't don't look at each other. What color shirt was she wearing on your first date? Yeah, right. On our first date? Mm-hmm. Why don't you ask like when I no, first? No, no, no. That's the question. <laughs> you can't say ask a different question. So the que- you you whatever your answer is, is fine, but you can't go. Why don't you ask this when you don't like the question? No, I mean I. Obviously, I would have to say, like, white. But the first time I saw her, no, I no, no, no. she was first wearing a blue first, shirt. No, 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 no. First red date. shoes, first, braids. No, you can go. You're going too hard. First date, you go white. I don't, say, well, I don't think she remembers. I was just going to say, I don't think <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that's a match. We got a match there. We got a match there. That works. Okay. So, second question. Who was somebody that, as a kid, Kane idolized? Caitlin? Can you name somebody he idolized as a child? It could be somebody from TV or sports or real life. Um, I've got my answer. Like, from real life, it would be, like, his Nana. Yep. Okay. Is that right. your answer? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. what about from not real life? Hmm. I don't even know that one. <laughs> well, you tell him that we should have idolized. There's been so many. I mean, like Herschel Walker? No. Nah. No? Cool. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking of a famous Georgia or Atlanta Atlanta people. Mark Richt. Did you like him as a kid? Yeah, but she wouldn't know who he was. Yeah. Kane just, uh, Kane's not like someone that like fan, I'll say fangirls over someone. So it's not like there's like even someone right now that Kane's like, I just love this person. He's just so 
Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, like, oh, they're great. Move like on. a video game? Can you idolize that? Do you ever yeah. get really excited about anything? Because I don't. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard to show emotion. Like, even when I, like, actually win an award and they, they give me, they're like, you got to do a speech. It's like, I can't. I, fiz I want to. I just can't. I don't know. It's weird. Were you a performing child or did you want, even for, like, four people? As a kid, did you ever just go, hey, I'm Kane. Here I am. I want to sing you a song. Yeah, my nana used no, nah, I don't know about singing song, uh, but my nana always walked around with those big old cameras, you know what I'm talking about? You had to put them on your shoulder. And I was a video always camera to all of us that are older than Kane by at least five years. <laughs> yeah, yes. we remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I was the kid that, you know, was in front of the camera doing whatever uh, to get their attention. At what age did your voice do that? Oh, and I was like 12. Mm. Was it so much deeper than everybody else? That's yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Like when I played video games, like grown men would cuss at me. But I was, <laughs> I was playing with my stepdad and his friends from work, and they'd be like, "Yo, he's 12. And they're like, "No, the hell, he's not. He pays rent." <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, congratulations on the song, Caitlin Kane. Excellent job. It's a great song. It's it it's, sounds so good. So that's Dan Huff as well. Just everybody involved. A number one. I mean, Caitlin, your first number one. But be it. I mean, that that is. Did you ever? Th yeah, you thought it because you are good and you. A, yeah, you thought. I'm, I'm going to say it for you. You hoped and wanted to, be, to have hits. So you probably had to have some sort of confidence in yourself. But in the past three years, before you even talked about this, did you think you'd have a number one song? No way. I mean, I truly thought that the day that me and Kane would do a song together, uh, it would just be like a cute husband and wife cut on the album. And it's cute. Number six on the album, whatever. People listen to it if they are fans of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But no, this is like wild. Well, congratulations. Thank I you. love you guys. And there they are, Kane and Caitlin Brown, going for number one this week. I feel pretty good about it. With Thank God, and we'll play it right now here on the Bobby Bones Show. It's about